first things first, I found these cute little houses from Dollar General. Went ahead and took the hangers right off of them. That left me with a little hole at the top, so I just got some of this lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree, just using a popsicle stick to cover that hole right up. I put those houses aside to allow that spackle to completely dry. Now while that is drying, I found this sign from Hobby Lobby. It was in their 90% off clearance. So I got it for like two bucks. And I'm going to cover the wording with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. But first things first, use the blue painter's tape just to cover up the frame. It is a little time consuming, but trust me when I say you're going to want to do this step just so you don't end up getting the white paint all over your frame. So I went ahead and just painted the sign with about three coats of the plaster chalk paint. Just make sure you dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then allow everything to completely dry. And then take that blue painter's tape off and now you got this nice crisp lines. Now that the spackle is completely dry on those houses, go ahead and just sand everything down so it is a nice smooth surface. And then I'm just going to paint these houses with Waverly chalk paint and the color ink. I did end up doing about two coats. Again, just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow everything to dry. Don't forget to get inside of the window and also paint the sides of the houses as well. Now once those were dry, go ahead and grab that frame and we're just going to find a good placement for the houses on the bottom parts. Once I found the good placements, all I did was grab some of this Dollar Tree adhesive glue, which is a great substitute for E6000, with a mixture of hot glue and just place those right onto the back of the houses. And then just go ahead and place those right onto the frame. And next I did make this stencil off of my Cricut machine. I did not buy this stencil anywhere. I actually made it myself. So I am just going to find a good placement for it on top of those houses. Smooth it down, make sure it is completely adhered to the sign. Smooth out any wrinkles, peeled off the transfer tape, and then using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge and some of that ink chalk paint, just began dabbing that chalk paint all throughout the stencil. At first I did mess up the word Mary, but I went ahead and just created a new stencil and just redid it. But once you pull that stencil off, look at how adorable this is. Next I am using these pine picks that I got from Amazon. Just using two of them on each side of the sign. So first I'm just hot gluing them down and just for some extra support I ended up using my staple gun. And then I just created a simple bow out of some natural burlap ribbon and some of this buffalo chuck ribbon. I just used the Dollar Tree adhesive glue with hot glue to glue that into place. And then just hot glued some red berries underneath that bow as well. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. To be honest, I think it looks store-bought, but that's just me. Um, but I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.